It's exerted on the grip of the exercise machine is this F. 260i of minus 130j in newtons. We want to know what's going on back here at O. First step, as per normal, is to draw your free body diagram. If I copy my axes, y, z, and x, what's crucial here are only really the distances and the location of the point F. So I'm going to say that this is 250 millimeters out, 200 millimeters up, and 150 millimeters back. And this is where my F acts. This is 260i minus 130j. At O, I'm told that this is a fixed support. So I'm going to have OZ in the Z direction, OY in the X direction, and O and Y in the X directions. I'm also going to have moments along these axes. So I'll have MZ, I'll have MX, and I'll have MY. So I've got six unknowns back at the back. If I list my forces in Cartesian form, I have OXI plus OYJ plus OZK, only because I assumed that those were positive in the positive directions. And I have the applied force F is 260I minus 130J. I'm also going to have this moment. This is a reaction moment at O, MXI plus MYJ plus MZK. Those are my forces and moments in Cartesian form. Now I want to sum the forces and moments to do my equilibrium equations. Some of the forces in X is just OX plus 260 is 0. Some of the forces in Y, OY minus 130 is 0. Clearly I can solve these pretty easily for the reactions at O. OZ is 0 because there aren't any others. I can say then at that point that my force, my reaction at the end, my answer to the reactions at O is going to include the force O which is minus 260i plus 130j newtons. Now I need to figure out what the moments are. Pick a place to take the moments about. Clearly O is a re reasonable do place to take the moments about because there is no moment at O due to any of my OX, OY, and OZ reaction forces. There is, of course, a moment at O due to F. Now in this case, the easiest way to figure out what that moment at O is, is to take the cross product. R is the vector from O to the point of application of F, which if I change it into meters is 0.25i plus 0.2j minus 0.15k meters. That's R. The moment at O due to F is the cross product of that R and my F in Cartesian form. I, J, K, R goes on top, 0 0.25, 0 0.2, minus 0 0.15, F goes on the bottom, and you take that cross product and you get the moment at O due to F is minus 19.5 I, minus 39 J, minus 84.5 K. All I have are the reactions at O and the force F. So this is my moment at O due to the reaction, this is my moment at O due to F. The sum of the moments in the X direction just says, if you add up the I's from those two moments, add up the J's, add up the K's, I have MX minus 19.5 equals 0, MY minus 39 equals 0, and MZ minus 84.5 equals 0. Now I have, I can solve these for my actual reaction moments. This is going to be 19.5I plus 39.0J plus 84.5K, and this is in Newton meters. These are my reactions at O. Notice I've given them in a form that is very clear. It has definite direction and definite units and three significant digits without regard to having somebody have to go back and look at my free body diagram to figure out what I'm talking about.